I welcome all of you with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Muntaza Shafi, a student of 10th standard from Peace School Naga. I hope you all are fine and doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah. And I also hope that you all must be excited and you all must be impatiently waiting for the day of Eid al Adha. So that's why today I decided to talk about Eid al Adha. As you all know that this Eid al Adha will be celebrated in an entirely different way uh, because of the COVID-19 impact. So let me talk about Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Adha is also called as the greater festival, the festival of sacrifice and the feast of sacrifice. It is celebrated during the month of Zilhijjah, that is the 12th and the last month of Islamic calendar. It begins on 10th of Zilhijjah and then it ends on uh, 13th of Zilhijjah. And the month of Zilhijjah, it, uh, it is very sacred to the Muslims across the world because the, in, the, in this month, the pilgrimage of Hajj takes place. During the month of Zilhijjah, Muslims across the world, they congregate to Mecca in order to visit Kaaba. But unfortunately, in this year, this Islamic week-long ritual, it has been scaled back to a, a limited number of pilgrims because of the COVID-19 impact. Now, let me talk about the significance or the importance of Eid al-Adha. The importance of Eid al-Adha is that it honors the willings of uh, Ibrahim salam to sacrifice his son, Ismail salam to show his obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command as he was repeatedly dreaming of it. But before Ibrahim salam could sacrifice his son, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided him with a lamb to sacrifice instead. Historically since then, the ritual of sacrificing a sheep, a goat, a cow, and uh, you know, or preparing a meal, it has been practiced by the Muslims across the world. Eid al Adha is all about sharing and caring for the people in the society. And traditionally, uh, one portion of this meat, it is distributed among the poor and the needy people. And the other portion is kept for the people at home. And uh, the third of it is given to the relatives. But as you all know that this year, Eid al Adha will be celebrated in a different way. Minority sacrifices can take place uh, in, on this Eid. So uh, what we all need to do, it does not mean we cannot usher, this, uh, we cannot usher in, the, in the festival spirit. What we all need to do is to, we should uh, cope up. We should cope up during these hard times. We should, you know, follow the preventive steps. We will follow the preventive steps like, uh, like we will, you know, uh, maintain social distancing. We will, uh, we will put on a mask. We have to maintain social distancing. We have to uh, frequently use uh, hand sanitizer, frequently wash our hands. And the site of slaughtering, it should be made away from the general public and, uh, and the living areas. And also the... Uh, the site of the slaughtering, it should be not crowded. The crowding, it should be avoided. And there are much more steps which we should take. And now, by the way, Eid al Adha is going to be celebrated on 31st of July as per the announcement of Saudi Arabia government. However, uh, the Shahi Imam of Delhi Jamia Masjid has announced that Eid al Adha, it will be inshallah celebrated on 1st of August in India as per the sighting of moon. So, uh, as we um, as we all know that uh, inshallah uh, then uh, obviously 31st of july it will be uh, observed as the day of arfa in india and this day of arfa it is also a day which has a lot of significance it is a recommendation of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam for those who are not pilgrims to fast on the day of arfa and when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked about the fasting on the day of arfa he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that this day that it expands the sins of the past year and the coming year. I will repeat that the fasting on the day of Arfa it expands the sins of the past year and the coming year. Subhanallah, how precious is this day! And I hope that we all will fast on the day of Arfa and as it's highly recommended. And then on the next day we will be followed by Eid al Adha. Inshallah. 
and as every as, you know festival as every festival it has a special celebration uh, so Eid al Adha it has also five major celebrations now what are those that is prayer that is the sheep massacre that is charity that is uh, gathering and entertainment as all these things may not take place because of this pandemic, because of the COVID-19 effect. But as I have said, as I have mentioned that we, we will, uh, we should, inshallah, follow the, uh, follow these preventive steps. We should, and uh, I can also say you some tips. How can we uh, celebrate this Eid? How can we commemorate this Eid? Like we can wish early in the morning. We can wish Eid Mubarak to our uh, nearest and dearest. We can, uh, we can also uh, pay charity online through uh, through the websites. There are a lot of online websites. We can pay charity through them. And inshallah, we will, we will also offer salah uh, on this Eid at our homes, uh, at our homes, and we can do a lot of things on this Eid. And then other things, they depend on you. How is your mood, and how will you celebrate this Eid? How will you commemorate this Eid? And I uh, and uh, yeah, remember one thing that uh, we should not consider these, uh, you know, these preventive steps like hand sanitization, uh, maintaining social difference as a burden over ourselves. But we should consider it as an opportunity to protect ourselves and our nears and our dears. I hope you all will understand. And at last, I would like to uh, I would like to say by the core of my heart, Eid Mubarak to all of you, Eid Mubarak to all your family members, to all of you. And may this Eid bring joy, happiness, prosperity in your lives. May this Eid uh, be the be the source of forgiveness of your of all of your past sins. Inshallah, you and your family members will be in my remembrance, will be in my prayers and good thoughts. And I hope that you will also remember me in your prayers. And I, once again, uh, once again, Eid Mubarak to all of you. Thank you for listening to me. Jazakallahu khair. Wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.